Let's start. Um, as you know, welcome to this session on Cuba. There will be a translation which will be provided from Spanish to English, in fact, because uh, we realize that most of you do not speak, uh, do not speak Spanish. And the questions and answers, obviously, will also also be, be translated. So, yeah, it don't need to be translated because, first of all, I will only speak for five minutes and then I will speak English. So, just to make it simpler. So, welcome to this session with, uh, on the Fortec project and this session of discussion on Cuban uh, higher education in the field of management. You see here as a warm up the beautiful capital of Havana, and if you want to know, it was inspired by the one in the United States, but it's actually bigger, and so this is the first nugget of knowledge that you will get from, uh, from this session. Now, if we go into other things, why are we here? It's because the FMD is leading a four-year project, which is founded thanks to European funds, started <coughs> initially in 2012 and will end up in 2016. And while EFMD is the leader and the main contractor, we have close cooperation with SID Business School, which is providing some activities. <coughs> and in Cuba, we are working in close cooperation with the Ministry of Higher Education. Overall, this project is financed by the EU as a capacity building project. And its main objective is to strengthen the management education in in Cuba is to make some exchanges of experience on how it went in Europe, what can we use in Cuba, what can we adapt, and what can we, uh, what, how can we cooperate better. And this is done with two main pillars. The first one is to train the teachers, to train the trainers, so that they will disseminate the knowledge and management in their own universities in Cuba. And there is another type of uh, pillar that we, that, that we do in this project is to establish long-term cooperation between Cuba and Europe. As you know, the goal is strengthen the links between Cuba and the European Union. So what to say apart from uh, the shape of the island, the, 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 the greatness of this project is that we are covering the main universities of, of the countries. From, of course, we have the university in the capital city of Havana, but we also cover the other universities that you can see on this map. And all these universities do organize some programs, some training programs, <coughs> or do cooperate in a uh, quality, uh, quality assurance system. <coughs> Now, if I go into more details, well, we have some training teachers and trainers in management. That's what I, I, I told you first as an introduction. There will be eight programs, eight training programs in management that are delivered in the eight university in the entire country. And one among the expecting uh, results, we will have something like 200 professors in management, 80 local actors from the emerging non-state actors, people that help the evolution of the Cuban economy, and also at the same time, consistent with the idea of in developing quality assurance program, <coughs> we do train university managers. The thing that you also that you need to know is that cooperation between Cuba and the European Union is a long-term one, and it started quite a, quite a while ago. Uh, the EU has been cooperating with Cuba in the field of higher education, among other, for more than 20 years now, and this program is the amplification, is the crowning of anterior training programs that were developed by by SAD and by a consortium of other universities in Europe, such as HEC, such as uh, Universita Nova de Lisboa, and so on and so on. So it's truly a European uh, project. So this is for the consolidating part. And the last part is establishing long-term cooperation. This is also why we are all here uh, in this room today. Well, you will see that you can interchange uh, with, with our Cuban colleagues. But basically what we are doing at the moment is creating setting methodological centers in each uh, of six <coughs> Cuban universities. And these centers for developing management education will work as a uh, pedagogical resource center. So they will collect, they will store, they will disseminate materials that have been created by the European professors, by the Cuban professors, by the Cuban participants to the, um, to the project. They will disseminate it in the different universities. They will also provide some methodological support, and this is where EFMD is playing a major role by cooperating with the institution to develop 
quality assurance system based on our experience of uh, accreditation, of course. And also, there will be the point of contact for the potential European partnerships. So, if you need to, uh, if you want to, 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 to develop partner to be closer <coughs> from Cuban institution, uh, this methodological center in these universities are here to, 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 to help you. So, this is it now. Uh, for my part. If you need more information, we have uh, a website, obviously. We also have some brochures. We have some brochures on the project that gives you more details. And we also have some brochures of introduction of the participating universities with all the contacts and so on and so on. And of course, uh, if you need any more information, well, feel free to ask me, feel free to ask Francesca, feel Boriana from the Cuban team and the Cuban director, the European director of the project, uh, Julio Ojgel, that you already know. <coughs> so this is it now. Uh, I'm glad to leave the floor to the three most charming ladies in Cuba. You always think that Cuban people, it's birdies, revolutionaries, and so on and so on. But no, it's also charming ladies, and I will <laughs> give them the floor. And I will first introduce uh, Dr. Mariela from the Ministry of Higher Education. We will make a small presentation overview of the project. And then uh, Dr. Maria de la Universita Agrar Agrarian University of Havana. And then uh, Dr. Martia from the National Council of uh, Accreditation in Cuba from the, from the ministry. So thank you. Mm -hmm.